In this short video, we're going to take a look at how to create a new file in Photoshop and a couple of the particulars to look at when you're doing so. So the first thing we'll do is to go up to File, Select New, and we'll get some options here. So we are going to use, for the sake of the examples and extent of the projects in this class will be measuring things in pixels. So everything will always be pixels here in these uh, first two areas that you see here. But if we were to click on it, we can see that we could create a canvas, which is uh, what we're about to do, uh, measured in uh, a number of different ways, inches, centimeters, but we're going to use pixels. So you want to make sure that this always says pixel, pixels. And for the sake of uh, most of the examples we'll do in class, we're going to create a canvas that's 800 by 800 pixels. Uh, so 800 wide, 800 high, which will create an 800 pixel square. And you want to, the other thing you want to, we're not going to worry too much about resolution initially, but here, uh, this color mode is really the third thing to take a look at. We want it to be in RGB mode, which stands for red, green, blue. Uh, which is going to give us color. And if we were to set it in any of the others, uh, we might not be able to do as much. And one that frequently gets selected, whether by accident uh, or by default, is grayscale, which, which doesn't allow you to do anything other than black, white, and uh, shades of the two, gray. So the third important thing when creating a new canvas here is that your color mode is in RGB. 800 width, 800 height, make sure these are pixels. You want to actually set that first. Uh, let just a quick example. If I had this set in inches, notice how this is going to change uh, over here automatically. So I need to first make sure I'm in pixels and notice if I go from pixels to inches, it will give me some uh, very large number uh, based on a calculation Photoshop does. So set pixels first. And then in most cases, unless uh, you know, other instructions are given, we'll click 800 by 800 and making sure that this is RGB color for the color mode, then click OK. This will open up a canvas here. You can see mine has a grid uh, and uh, you know, I can get rid of that grid. Uh, uh, where is my grid image select? And this is the canvas that we'll be doing a lot of uh, a lot of work in in this course. 